Hello and welcome to a new video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at Sage Business Cloud and creating recurring sales invoices. So just trying to automate this process as much as possible for you. So let's get into the video. You can see I'm on my dashboard. From here we need to go to sales, then sales invoices. And then you'll see your sales invoices here. Now there's a little option here just next to invoices called recurring invoices. So this is where you'd set up your new recurring invoice. So to set it up, you go over to the right hand side, click new recurring invoice. Now this is where you've got to select the customer. So if I just do Bob's building supplies, uh, it comes up with the address, delivery address, that's fine. It asks you for the frequency, so monthly, every month on the first of the month, starting on the, if it's on the first of the month, you start it on the first of May, never ending, due days, the due date is 30 days after the invoice. Now, if you have card payments, so you can set up card payments, so they can invoice, um, pay it. Um, and it goes, create draft and create invoices, create invoices and email straight away. Now, if you really want to automate the process, I'd always select create invoices and email straight away. Because if you're just going to create invoices, you still have to do that manual process of emailing them out. Or if you just want to create draft that you want to check, you can obviously create the draft. It's entirely down to you. But if you want to really automate it and someone signed up to you for a year for your services, like for us as an accountancy practice, when we're dealing with our clients, we sign them up to a fixed fee and we uh, invoice them on monthly. We also have them signed up to direct debit. So what would happen is, is we'd create the invoice and it would email straight away, just basically saying, here's your invoice and we're taking it via direct debit so for us we would always create an email straight away because there's going to be no change if we have to do additional invoices for like ad hoc work there will be just one-off invoices that we'll create so let's just create this invoice very quickly so we go to product slash service so if you've got your product set up in here you would obviously then select that um, if you just want to put it as a description so monthly accountancy services Sales products, that's fine. Price rate, so £100 plus VAT. Um, there you go, that's the invoice there. So what this also then tells you at the bottom is an invoice we'll be creating and sent every month on the 1st, and with the first one being on the 1st of May 2021. Now this is where you have an option to save and new, save or cancel. So I'm just going to save the invoice. And it says, to email recurrence, you need an email address on the customer record invoice to customer record. Invoice will be created, but this is because this is a demo account, it doesn't have an email address. Add an email address to the main contact and we'll send subsequent invoices straight away. So if you add, if you create this without having the email address in, what this is basically saying is this will create the invoices but won't send them. And then as soon as you put an email address in, it will then subsequent, the, the next invoice will go straight away. It also, I've got a tick box in here to send me a copy. Of the invoice so if i wanted to keep a track of the invoices being sent out or if part of my process is that i've got to send a copy i don't generally get a copy of our invoices sent to me because i've got it on the system anyway and so i normally would take that tick box out you've also got include pdf attachment so that pdf attachment is the invoice itself so yes include the pdf attachment and you've also got the message there with Thank you for your business. We are pleased to attach your invoice in PDF for full details, including payment terms included. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. Now you can set those messages in a previous video I said about customizing your sales invoice and we we looked at the messages as well. So you can see there that it's it's composing the email for you and it will all do it. So if I just hit save and now that's done. So if I now look at my recurring, you can see that I've got Bob's Building Services. Next invoice is on the 1st of may it never ends and the outcome is saving the email invoice now obviously like it said it won't email until i add the email address and you can see it's for 120 pounds that's it done so what that will do is that will create it on the first of every month and then obviously then with your bank feed of the payments coming in you can then pay that invoice off by matching it and everything else so that's it for today's video a very very simple video if you're new here welcome i'm glad you found us because we're doing a lot of content around sage business cloud if you're returning hiya thank you for coming back it means the content is appropriate and you're finding the content useful so like i said if you want to hit that bell notification to know that we're when we're uploading videos and hit that subscribe button 
Also hit a like if you like the video and drop a comment. I, I, I encourage the interaction with reference to, I encourage the interaction to see if the content is useful for people, to see if there's any questions, whether I'm explaining it correctly and in a manner that everyone can understand. Uh, so please leave a comment. I do encourage it. I reply to every single comment, good or bad. We are a small accountancy practice ourselves. We are doing this so people can get on with what they need to do. These software are becoming more and more part of your daily routine and you're not an accountant, you're not a bookkeeper. You need to try and make this as simple as possible. Now, if you have any queries, I would always say your first port of call is your, your accountant with reference to categories and everything else. If they are unable to help, then get in contact with us and we might be able to help you. We might be able to support you. We might even be able to service you, but do use your current accountant as your first port of call. There is a major thing coming in for self-employed people in two years time, and they're gonna to have to use this software. So there's gonna be a lot more people using cloud solutions than there ever has built before. So please look at these videos. There's more content coming, but until next time, stay safe.